Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You're welcome. If you're seeing me for the first time, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I believe the Lord has a word for you through me. And if you'd love to be a part of this family, please kindly subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content, you're going to be the first to know. And if this is not your first time, thank you for always coming back. You've become my family and I love you. When I pray to God, I mention the names of my YouTube family and I ask the Lord to bless them. I pray that God reaches them at their point of need in the, in the name of Jesus. Amen. One of these days I was praying and interceding for the people who sent me prayer requests. I received a lot of mails from people asking me to pray for them for this and for that and for this. And so I just felt overwhelmed by those prayer requests and I was like, God, please. Can you just bless them already? Is this too hard for you to do? Can you just bless them? And the Lord dropped a scripture in my mind. And I knew it was for someone. I knew God wanted me to set. I knew God wanted me to share that scripture with someone. And so I thought to. And so I thought to share this with you. He dropped in my mind Isaiah chapter 45 verse 19. I read. I have not spoken in sacred, in a dark place of the earth. I did not say to the seed of Jacob, seek me in vain. If I, the Lord, speak righteousness, I declare things that are right. Let me take it again. I have not spoken in secret, in a dark place of the earth. I did not say to the seed of Jacob, seek me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare the things that are right. That is the scripture God gave me. You know, being called as a Christian is a privilege. There are many out there who have never been witnessed to. They don't even know that Jesus exists. They don't know about the love of God. They don't know anything. It is by privilege that God sent someone to minister to you. It is by privilege that you received an encounter from, from God that grounded you in Christianity. It is a privilege. Not everyone has that opportunity to serve God, I assure you. Not everyone has that opportunity. If God has made you to know his ways and to seek him and to serve him, it is a privilege. And therefore, he says that he did not make you to encounter him in vain. He did not make you to serve him in vain. He did not call you to seek him in vain. He did not call you to serve him in vain. He says he speaks righteously. It means he only says the things that are right. If he had promised you that he's going to do something for you, he would definitely do it. He would definitely do it. He gave me this scripture to come and encourage you. Do not get tired. Do not feel that God is not faithful. Do not think he is not faithful. He says he did not call you to, to seek him in vain. You will not end up as a reproach. You will not end up being ridiculed. There is a reward to serving God. There is a reward and certainly you are going to benefit of that reward. In the book of Hebrew chapter 6 from verse 16, in the book of Hebrews chapter 6 verse 16, he says, Abraham after waited patiently obtained the promise. After he waited patiently, he obtained the promise. God did not call you to seek him in vain. There is a reward. Your services to him, there is a reward. As you are seeking the Lord, there is a reward. He did not make you to encounter him for nothing. He did not make your path to cross in Christianity for nothing. As long as you are serving God, there is a reward. There is a reward for your service. And to every servant of God, you have been giving your all for the gospel. You have been serving, sacrificing your time, your resources and everything to serve the Lord, to reach out to the people, to ministers, to minister. He says, I should read this scripture for you. This is your scripture. Hebrew chapter 6 and verse 10. For God is not unjust to forget your work and your labor of love, which, which you have shown towards his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and you do minister. For God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love, which you have shown towards his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and you do minister. God is not unjust. God is a good boss. God is a good boss. He rewards the people who work for him. He rewards the people who serve him. He rewards the people who ministers to people on his behalf. 
He says he is not unjust. Do not think he has forgotten about you. Do not think he is not seeing your sacrifices for the kingdom. He is seeing it and in, at the appropriate time, he's going to bless you. At the appropriate time, God will bless you for your services to the kingdom. Do not give up. Do not, do not relax on your kingdom duties. Do not say God is not seeing you. To you who is serving God and you still feel like he is not blessing you yet, please do not give up in your services to God. Do not feel tired serving the Lord. Do not feel tired. Do not think that God is unjust or he is not faithful. He says here that he is not unjust to forget your labor of love. He is not unjust. He sees everything you are doing and he is coming with a reward for you. Please do not give up. Let us pray. Father Lord, thank you for your assurance to us at this point in time. Thank you, Lord, for making us to know that you do not call us to seek you in vain. That even as we seek you, you are going to be about our business. Even as we serve you, Lord, you are going to be about our business. Even as we handle your business, this is for the servant of God. Even as we handle your business, God, you're going to be about our business. Thank you, Lord, for the assurance that you're seeing our sacrifices. You're seeing our labor of love. And Lord, I pray that you should continually strengthen everyone who is listening to me in the faith. Strengthen them, God, not to give up in their service to you, not to give up in their service to the church, not to give up, God. Strengthen them. Increase their strength. As they embark on this Christian journey, increase their strength as they decide to serve you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen.